It just scares me that he could do something to me. A local woman is fighting back, first with a restraining order and now a lawsuit after she says a dream job turned into a nightmare. She claims a man she thought was an attorney and her boss sexually assaulted her and thought she wouldn't come forward because of her own secret. Team 10 investigator Michael Chen joins us with a recording she says proves her case. Michael. Brenda Kovarubia says she was repeatedly molested but was afraid to say anything because the man was her boss and she did not think anybody would believe her. So she got out her tape recorder. You, ha you have been touching me? You're listening in on a conversation secretly recorded by Brenda Kovarubias talking to her boss, Gary Bishop. He presented himself as an attorney. Who runs a legal document preparation business in San Ysidro. He hired Kovarubias as a secretary in November. And she says a few weeks later, he approached her in the file room. He approached to me with his body and pushed me. And then he grabbed my breast. She says she pushed him away, but in the next eight days, she says Bishop molested her. Put his hand inside of my shirt. Two more times. I was in shock and scared. Scared because Kovarubias is undocumented. He knows about my status in here being illegal, and he thought I was going to be quiet. Thinking nobody would believe her, she took a tape recorder and recorded a conversation. Touching me, it's just not afraid. I don't feel that it's appropriate. Okay. And then, I, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. She quit, filed a police report, and a judge granted her a restraining order against him. She says Bishop seemed to become obsessed. Friday, she filed a lawsuit buoyed by the knowledge of a federal law preventing deportation proceedings when status is revealed in a sexual assault report. Her attorney, Dan Gillian. There's reason why there's that law in the first place. It's because women are scared to come forward. Gillian says he has another woman ready to come forward with a similar story. We did some digging and discovered there are no attorneys named Gary Bishop with a law license in California. We went to his business in San Isidro for answers, but he wasn't there. We left messages with Bishop and his attorney, but neither have gotten back to us. In court documents, Bishop claims there was a consensual relationship. Kovarubia says that is a lie and says the full recording proves it. The police investigation is ongoing. Michael Chen, Team 10.